Angel, let's tune into the soul energy of the day. What it is you need to know, I'm immediately being shown the color blue as significant and also stars. So we do have Brothers of the Rose and Whispers of Mother Earth coming out. Oh, one was hiding. And trust the seasons. Okay, so this could be an indication that you are currently in a season of your life that you are slightly unfamiliar with. Um, you haven't been here before, yet somehow it feels similar. I feel like you are able to notice the cycle that you are in, the cycle that your life moves in. Um, this is definitely a season of change. Uh, there's a transition taking place, so maybe you're physically moving, or it also could just be getting used to seeing life a different way based on what it is that you are doing now and who it is that you are surrounded by. And so my angels are saying there's no reason to freak out. I feel like maybe that's kind of been the energy that you've been in of like, oh my God, it's kind of like that um, episode from SpongeBob where he forgets his name. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate as to the energy that I'm picking up on. And it doesn't have to be so dramatic. Maybe you're just feeling slightly uncomfortable, whatever it is. It's definitely a season of transition and change taking place for you. And it's definitely for the better. So you can also um, find peace in knowing that as well. So with the Whispers of Mother Earth card, this makes me feel like you're, uh, you're connecting to your sensuality more. You're connecting to peace, to stillness, to your sexuality even as well. And it's it's like um, getting to know yourself, not just on a deeper level, but on a more intimate level. It's like having intimate conversations with yourself versus a partner, whether you're with a partner or currently um, only in connection in the spirit world with your partner. It still requires you to have those intimate conversations with yourself because it is in that space, that environment, that you're going to have creativity, ideas, inspiration. You're an artist in everything that you do. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if you work a, a beautiful nine to five that supports this world um, in such small yet very significant ways. It does not matter what you do. It does not matter if you're picking up trash. It doesn't matter if you're a teacher, if you um, work as a cashier, a clerk, whatever it is, there's art to it. There's art to the way that you show up and do your work. It, you don't have to be in the spiritual world doing spiritual work to be something magical, to be something special, and to express yourself create, uh, creatively. So also extend yourself some grace for that. Um, release the pressure of needing to be what the rest of the world is trending or trying to become because it's just a very unnecessary thing. And um, what you do and the way that you show up in the world may have much more significant meaning than you realize. And last but not least, we do have the Brothers of the Rose. We have Sacred Masculine Honor Protection and Support. As a collective, the Divine Feminine is choosing to extend grace, to extend forgiveness to Divine Masculine. That does not come without its vices. Google the word vices, because I don't know if that's the right word used there. What I'm trying to say is that it's not always going to be easy. In fact, there are going to be moments and days or weeks even where it's far from easy for you to extend grace and forgiveness to Divine Masculine as you uh, simultaneously extend grace and forgiveness to yourself, okay? And it's, it's not your job to, it's your choice to. And so on the days that you choose yourself, that you choose a different path, let's say, you want to give in to your ego a little bit. Your your pride takes over a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. This journey is not going to be perfect. It's not going to be every day that you just have endless grace and endless compassion and this and that. You like you have to give yourself that too. Some days require you to give it fully to yourself so that you can go and continue to give it to others. And so don't ignore those days where you have needs that need to be met. And I shouldn't have used pride and ego because I think there's a very big difference between being stuck on a high horse and just choosing to take care of your horse. Okay, so allow yourself to 
have days where they are just dedicated to yourself because those are just as important as the energy, the compassion, the love that you are extending to the brothers of this earth, to the sisters of this earth, to the mothers, to the fathers. There's so much healing taking place. And because of that, I, I think that a lot of people underestimate how much energy it actually takes to heal and how much rest it actually takes to integrate that healing. So make sure you're finding a balance of, yes, move forward, discover, expand, wow. As you do that, there's also things that need to come up, things that need to be released, things that need to be held space for so that you can continue to do that. And that happens in the rest, that happens in the breakdowns. We call them mental breakdowns. When you cry uncontrollably, or when you feel sad, when you feel like you can't get out of bed, those moments also deserve your compassion and your understanding. Um, so don't forget to rest along the way because it's very powerful work that you're doing and that is such a necessary part of your journey. It's going to make it uh, a lot more balanced. You are actually going to be able to appreciate the journey more rather than feeling like it's something that you're stuck in or, or another religion or a cult that you got sucked into and it's like, whoa, wait, I did not uh, decide to explore spirituality so that it could become my identity and become my life. The whole point of exploring spirituality and going on this healing journey is so that you can uh, gain a better understanding and experience of your life, of living and co-living, having a relationship with the universe, with the world around you, so that you can find a job that you enjoy, find a life purpose that you enjoy, so that you can build friendships that that uh, bring you more peace than turmoil, so that you can um, hopefully one day have a some kind of relationship with your family, whatever it looks like for you, the point of exploring yourself in this way is so that you can gain a better experience of life, not so that it can become you or take over you. So just remember that as you continue forward. Um, I think that it will take a pressure off that just doesn't need to be there so that you can just enjoy more of the intimate moments with yourself, more of the sensuality, more of the peaceful side of what this journey is. And so. I pray that you take this with you. Um, if it calls to you, as always, leave what does not resonate. And as always, I am here if you'd like a personal reading, channeled angel message, candle ritual, all of that you can find on my website if you click the link in my bio. And I am here and look forward to channeling for you if and whenever you